Have you ever sucked a Lego? Lego not only encourages it, but they use other companies to promote it. From candy to cola and bananas to burgers, Lego has teamed up with dozens of companies to help promote their product and get it out of the store shelf. Back in 2005, Walmart, Lego, and Star Wars teamed up to give away a bunch of mosaics. And I'm not entirely sure how an Eminem character cosplaying as Darth Vader is gonna help a kid with cancer. It did do better than the Russian Milky Way Lego sets, but much like the country, the bar was set pretty low with these, so B tier overall. With a lot of these partnerships, there really isn't a whole lot to talk about, like the Pepsi sets that were given away for free by, you guessed it, Pepsi, or the same exact set that was given away by Colgate, the toothpaste brand. Now that is the partnership I'd like to see. Dana never really got to experience its full Lego potential by replacing the Oreo crumble bits on the top of a pudding cup with some Lego parts. And there's never really been a similar brand deal between the Danish toy company and an American food staple hamburger helper. There's something that feels a little bit off seeing a hamburger helper sticker on the side of a Lego brick. Having a hard time deciding between a brand new Lego set and a fresh can of Kippen soap? <laughs> We've all been there. But don't worry, Unox has you covered with a really stellar discount. Just don't forget to fill out your nap, uh, as well as the strats and the plats. McDonald's is probably the biggest food brand that has worked with Lego. They've done movie deals, they've done superheroes, they've done even Bionicles, but I don't wanna talk about it because there's just so much. Although, McDonald's wasn't the only one to get their greasy little McFingers in the Bionicle honeypot. There was another brand out there. I don't know who they are, but they made some pretty cool cake toppers. I'm, I'm having a hard time thinking of reasons why anybody would want this, which is exactly why I bought one. These things are not at all easy to track down, but we now know what company made these, as well as, I'm from there. It's also really Really neat to see how another company remade the ball joints, but all in all, the things are still looking pretty. Scuffed is a word I don't normally partake in, but it's a pretty good choice when it comes to the Kellogg brand. It had a handful of promotional poly bags, but the only interesting thing that comes from this is when you take all four, you get the ultimate pile of trash. There were 13 unique stickers to go out with Kellogg's products, and that would be really, really cool if they weren't all in German. Kellogg also had the misfortune to produce Lego Ego waffles and Lego shaped fruit snacks, but I'm more of a fan of the products that'll last a little bit longer than a light snack. Introducing Toucan Sam and Tony the tiger made out of bricks. Hey, remember that time the whole of the internet got thirsty over Tony the tiger? But I kind of wonder what kind of fan art would be out there for the brick-built Keebler elf. I think I need to stay away from fan art for a little while. Although this could use a quick internet search. Nestle is a rather robust company, and you can see that with the Lego products, whether it be wrapped water bottles from Lego Movie 2 characters, or popular sets at the time being made into smaller form factors that be passed out, like studios, or bionicle fidget spinners, or weirdly shaped knights, or the bunny. Milka produced five sets over the course of two years, three being from Christmas and two being from Easter. And if you like creepy bunnies or Santa Claus and chocolate, I'm starting to think the Lego group will work with just about anybody. For example, Quick, a fast food chain outside of the weirdly rendered CG model of what I believe to be the offspring of Ronald McDonald, but French version. These Happy Meal knockoffs aren't really giving me a whole lot to look into. But fortunately, they're not the only fast food company out there. Boss Burger, a surprisingly Japanese fast food company and not Mexican, had a collab with Lego where you could dress up Santa Claus with different sticker sheets. All of the boxes had the exact same Santa build, but you could put different sticker sheets over the assembled bricks to have different themed Santas, like Hawaiian Santa, or Tuxedo Santa, or Soccer Santa, or Cross-Dressing Santa. The Japanese are very inclusive with their Santa clauses. Or are they? Uh. Kabaya, from a foreigner's perspective that only knows anything about countries depending on what exclusive Lego sets they offered, seems to be doing really well with over 100 Lego sets. You just want to know, do they also have a trans Santa Claus? And no, they don't. So apparently, the Japanese aren't all that inclusive. Ooh, horribly timed cut that doesn't fit with the pacing of this video, but I didn't know where else to put it naturally. Please subscribe. During the brief Tupa Chump Lego stint, eight sets were produced, three being from Adventures, three City, three Extreme Stunts, two Sports, and one Alpha Team. The only set here with any interest is one of the sports poly bags where a skater has an Imperial officer torso. Is this a Lego Star Wars minifigure? Because I'm convinced it is, and if someone doesn't have it, then they don't have every single Lego Star Wars minifigure out there. It's a B tier, much like General Mills cereal offering, because on first glance, it doesn't seem that bad. But once the aftertaste kicks in, you're gonna start reaching for that Pepsi Colgate combo. The honey nut hurt on your taste buds doesn't have to be all in vain, because sometimes you could have got Lego with it. There's a whole collection of mystery race cars you could have pulled out with your Wheat Loops, but I've already talked about this before, so I'm gonna let my past self talk about it again so I don't have to do it. What better way to promote that than by passing out free Lego cars, which these, these this is what these are. In 2009, they came out in cereal boxes, and if you bought a cereal, you got a free car. Life cereal also had a few brand deals, like elephants and boxes. Now, unless you were banned in the woods as a child and raised by a feral pack of coyotes, you probably don't eat dry cereal out of a red Solo cup, which means you might need some milk. There was Tyne, where you could get a truck and a mug. Then there was MD, where you could get a truck and not a mug. And then there was that one, that you could just get a truck. And then there was like a Danish version of a Yahoo chocolate milk, much like 
like Yahoo, I would imagine it tastes like watered down piss. But in fairness, Yahoo drinkers and Danish, you guys probably like doing that in your free time anyway. So don't get so butt hurt all the time. God, you guys are sounding really familiar. The British breakfast food brand Weedabrix is actually very interesting if you have low self-esteem. They were one of the earliest adopters of the Lego food collaboration scene, predating the original Yellow Castle by eight years with their own very colorful castle. Not everything they did was a home run like these two racing polybags, but they did have a really early example of a two-in-one Lego set with official instructions for both builds. Before minifigures were even a thing, they provided a really cheap option to build a Lego village, but the downside is you get these slabs of processed meat instead of articulated Fi figures. But all this crap is ancient and only the geriatric care about any of this. Says the non-geriatric that cares way too much about this, but you know what I don't care as much about? Coca-Cola. Don't get me wrong, the branding on a lot of the sets are really cool. Coca-Cola polar bear, anybody? Ooh, what about the very first collectible minifigure series ever? There was the eye fountain build where I was being put in front of everything. It could be a dinosaur. It could be Harry Potter's crotch. It could be the very infamous, famous slope piece. What about two balls? You, you can't forget about two balls. All in all, these sets are not a complete wash. You swap some colors around and you actually have some something worthwhile. Now watch, as I very naturally and smartly and intelligently tell you to loop the video and watch all the way back to this point, because I have a question.